Welcome everybody to what I consider paradise. Just take a look at these views out here. This is my favorite spot in all of Summit County. This is all open space and we are lucky enough to share with you not only this beautiful setting, but this beautiful log home that is currently for sale. This home I'm really excited to show you just is a, a stunning masterpiece. The logs are all from Canada. The home was built in 1994 and this is truly a legacy property for someone, a group, a family that is looking for a place where they feel like they're really escaping, but yet has the convenience of being right next to a golf course and less than four miles to Keystone Resort. So come on in and take a look at this beautiful property with me. So let me explain to you why this is my most favorite location in Summit County. When I first moved here in 1993, I lived just over the hill in another community called Summit Cove. And there was access single track trails that you could come in on, say in the middle of the evergreens and you can cross country ski, you can trail run, you can mountain bike. Those were my three things that I love to do back here. And it connects with Breckenridge, then it connects over to the back ranch of Keystone, and then you've got this West Ranch. So you've got several areas where you can merge into these trails and you can go out for a 45 minute loop, you can go out for a four hour loop, you can do whatever you want. And I always used to cross country ski and then come out into this meadow and it felt like you were at the beach but you were in a field of snow. And I always said it would be so much fun to get a picnic chair and have a picnic out there um, just basking in the sun and you're really on the snow. So that is why this is very special to me. I've been recreating back here for 30 years and it's just a beautiful spot. And whoever is the lucky person to buy this property will have so many opportunities to just gaze out into the open space area where you are going to see wildlife. You will see moose, you'll see fox, Occasionally, I heard maybe a mountain lion um, and a coyote. Um, so you definitely have some wildlife that is back here. All right, well, it's time. Let's go inside. So here we are in the great room. And again, this house is just really beautiful with all the logs um, that they installed. Well, it's a true log home. Um, the home is four bedrooms, five baths, and is a little bit over 4,400 square feet. And again, built in 1994. So let's take a look. The home, I will say, does come fully furnished. So you've got this beautiful, great room with these great windows just highlighting the outdoor area and then the high ceilings just making it feel really grand. Your dining room is a nice size. You've got seating for eight people as it is. And then the kitchen was just newly remodeled. In the kitchen, you have all new appliances, a gas stove here, and um, a wine cooler or beverage cooler. You have a beautiful, well, the countertops, they did two different types. So you've got the brown, very rich, the different tones. And then over here, they went with more of the creams and you've got this beautiful farmhouse sink. Mainly you will be coming in from the garage into the mudroom area. And we'll just take a quick peek at the garage. It is a two car.
you have the laundry room off the mud room, and then you have a side door if you wanted to access the home. I do like these rounded doorways, very nice. So they, they brought in the river rock that was actually taken from, I believe, the Snake River here that they gathered all of these stones. And then you can see how it's brought over to the fireplace wall. This home, I should say, was a, um, the winner of the Parade of Homes, I believe in 94. The Parade of Homes is a uh, collection of properties that are picked by um, the Summit County Building Association and they judge the homes based on a certain criteria. Um, and then all the public can go and tour these beautiful homes on two weekends in the month of September. It's a really nice event. Okay, so off the great room, you have a primary and you've got access to the deck and the beautiful sunshine that you will receive pretty much all day. This is a really nice size primary bedroom, again, with the high ceilings and all the exposed logs. And it has a fireplace too. You have a um, very large bathroom and a master closet that goes back there. I should say primary closet. Now this is the main entryway hallway. And I just want to point out a few little details. Like this was all hand forged and the lock is actually a heart. Um, it's kind of cool. And again, you have the rounded door. And then the door knocker is a pine cone <laughs> because it's truly a mountain cabin. All right, another one of my favorite spots is up here in the loft. This is just a really nice, cozy area for the family to get together and watch some TV. The former owner had it as an office and the folks, um, my clients, turned it into this family room and I really like it that people have places to spread out. Then over here, look at this detail where they have the curved log going around this semi-circular stairway and then this opens up into another ensuite. Complete with a full bath. Let's go down to the lower level. But again, these trees are beautiful or the logs are beautiful. I like the carpet on the stair. It's going down to the lower level. But let's stop here and 
let me show you a secret little room that they have. It's all cedar lined on the floor. So really good storage or it could be a man cave. But yeah, if you didn't know that this was here, you wouldn't really, you'd just walk right by it. So here we have another really comfortable space for family time, watching quiet time, watching TV, playing poker, and another beautiful fireplace. We have two bedrooms on either side, and again, they're both en suites. If you want any information regarding this property, I also have a Matterport video. You can let me know. I'd be happy to share that with you. Well, being a short person, I definitely will need a stool to get into this bed. But Again, and all the two bedrooms down here have beautiful views of that open space area. Now, they just installed a hot tub a couple of years ago and put a nice little patio walkway out there just so that you can soak and just take in the views. And this area, I say, is like a banana belt. It gets very warm in that this area. You've got sunshine all day long. You have a wet bar here. So beautiful. <laughs> this is just really lovely. Like I said, this is a very special place in my heart just for all the years of memories coming back here. Now, we'll go back up on the deck. Oh, somebody had a fat bike. Um, they're riding by and let's talk about the Keystone golf course and some of the other things around the area. So if you're not familiar with Keystone, Keystone is located about 10 miles from I-70 right before the Frisco exit to get to Breckenridge and of course Keystone Ski Resort but then also some people might not know of a Basin Ski Resort also which is a great place to ski high um, alpine terrain and then in the summertime it's known for uh, it's Via Ferrata, which is the highest in North America. Also, mountain biking and other, you know, opportunities to go hiking and explore. There is a small mining township, I should say. It's not really a town anymore, Montezuma. That is just a couple miles past Keystone. And it used to be the largest town in Summit County with 5,000 residents. There are no commercial buildings there anymore. It used to be like a theater or a bank. Like it was really like something in the 1800s. And now it's just a bedroom community, but it's a funky little area to go explore. A lot of um, ATV riding back there, um, great mountain biking 
hiking and of course you can do some backcountry skiing be very careful though um, and you can get up to the continental divide back there and just see some spectacular views if you wanted to go four-wheeling in the summertime Keystone is also, it's about 15 minutes from Breckenridge, so really close. So if you're here, you know, you can explore all the other towns like Breckenridge, Frisco, Dillon. Go to the Dillon Amphitheater in the summertime and take in a concert, which is absolutely beautiful. The views on Lake Dillon and the mountain ranges, the 10 mile and the Gore Range. So like I said, you know, you feel like you're miles and miles away, but really you have access to all the amenities that all the other communities have. So again, let me know what you think. Leave a comment below. Let me know if you like this home and if you have questions about it. If you'd like a private tour, I'd be happy to show you that. So if, you, if this is your first time, hearing about Keystone. I have done a video on Keystone and the surrounding areas. If you wanna go and check that out, it's on our YouTube channel. Like I had mentioned, there is a golf course right here. There are no golf course greens out in this meadow. It's just a little bit over. Um, it's less than a five minute drive to get to the clubhouse and it's, it's public, the golf course, but there is amenities for the homeowners in this area where you do get to use a community pool, tennis courts, four miles from Keystone Ski Resort. And in the summertime, they also have a lot of activities happening and they are well known for their mountain bike downhill course. Just a great area. Keystone Golf Course has the Keystone Ranch restaurant, which is very well known for five-star dining. And of course, it's comfortable setting. You don't have to get dressed up, but the food is top notch. Well, here we have it. Just an absolutely beautiful setting that this home comes on. The property is more like a patio home where it is just shy of a quarter of an acre but you can see you've got access to all of this land which is great um, and I just want to say thank you very much for watching if you like this home let me know in the comments below if you're new to our channel hit the subscribe button and you will be in the know of everything that's going to be happening in Breckenridge, Keystone, and the Summit County area. And thanks again. Have a great day. And we look forward to helping you find your way home.